Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about five things that you need to eat if you ever visit China. There are a lot of weird foods here, but these are the five of like the top ones. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first food or kind of like groups of food um, is Xiao Cao, the Chinese barbecue. It has a really different flavor than any American or any foreign barbecue I've ever had. It's a really good flavor. You gotta be careful of the spice because sometimes it can be a little overwhelming. Take a bottle of water with you or something. But one of the ones I especially think you should try is the Chinese pig intestines. I ate one of those like more than a year ago. Go check it out right up there. Old video, but I think you should definitely try it if you ever visit. I think it's really cool. Now the second food you should try if you're visiting China is just a bowl of noodles. They have a bunch of different types and they're all super tasty. Like you wouldn't believe it. They're really good. They're like one of the staple foods for Chinese here and for me sometimes as well. So make sure to try the noodles. Um, there are so many different types. My favorite is ar si. It's like a kind of chewy, a little more chewy and, and the noodles come in a really nice flavorful soup generally if you get a good restaurant. You should really try them. Now the third food group, or whatever you want to call it, is chicken. They make a really traditional chicken dish here, especially in Yunnan province, I believe. I'm not sure if it's just here for the Bai minority, but they end up cooking up this chicken, frying it. Generally, it has all its bones, but it has some amazing flavor. Like, you wouldn't believe it's such good flavor. If you ever come visit, especially to Yunnan province, like I live in Dali here, but you should definitely try the, the chicken dish. Generally, it, it's an expensive dish because it's gonna be your main dish. It has a little bit of potato, a little bit of other, and it's sometimes spicy, but let me tell you, it is worth it. It tastes so good. It's like, it's one of my favorite dishes. Like fried noodles is probably my very favorite, but otherwise this chicken dish is so good. On rice, get it. Now something with that chicken group is the Beijing Peking Duck. So it's like kind of chicken, kind of duck. But um, I haven't personally been to Beijing yet. I should go, hopefully I will go before I leave or, you know, however it works out. But I've heard it's really good. It's something you should try. Now the fourth thing I would have to say, and these are in no particular order, but it's jiaozi and baozi, the Chinese dumplings. They are really good. Sometimes you can get them in a soup. Those are good. And sometimes they just come like steamed or fried. Whatever way, my favorite is probably steamed. But some in soups are really good as well. I really like those. You should try those. They are not spicy. They're a great food for foreigners or Caucasians just traveling to China, traveling in China. They're pretty solid and a lot of times they have a little bit of meat in them. So, all right, now for the fifth food group type of food. Um, really try to find a local food for wherever you're traveling to. It can be really special, really different than any other food you've tried in China. So if you're in Beijing, try the Beijing food. If you're in Dali, try the Dali food. If you're in Chengdu, try the Chengdu food. A lot of those places have local minority groups and they have their special flavor of food and it can be really tasty. So try to figure out what that is. Around here, it's the Bai minority and they have a lot of special dishes like I was telling you about that chicken one. I believe that's a Bai minority dish. But just try to find the specific ones because a lot of times they can be really tasty and you would never know it if you just go to your normal Chinese big famous restaurant over there that has all your famous foods. You'll never get the local food. So try to find those local restaurants and really get the great food. All right, just a real quick warning against like getting too much foreign food in China because a lot of times the flavor can be really off. It's not very authentic obviously because it's China. I mean, how authentic is it going to be? So you always want to be careful of that. A lot of times if you get like a hamburger or something, you're going to end up having the beef falling off and stuff. Really weird stuff. Um, so always be careful of that and occasionally it can be unsafe too. So that was just a really quick warning. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I'll plan on seeing you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that. I really appreciate it to anyone who does and I will see you later.